Does your facial tracking kind of get stuttery or does your iPhone overheat with Live Link Face or any other facial capture application? This video is the video to check out and it'll help you out. I'm just gonna cut right to the chase. If you have an iPhone 13, this is not really a problem for you. If you mainly do sitting style content where you're sitting at your desk and you have your iPhone always in a constant position, just get this iPhone cooler, link in the description. It's gonna be an affiliate link to help me out and that'll work just fine. If you're more interested in doing a DIY solution or if you're like me and you have a head mounted iPhone, you might've run into this problem where the cooler that I linked above will actually interfere with most of the head mounts out there for your iPhone. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you the iPhone cooler that I came up with and the parts list that are gonna all be linked down below. And a shout out to Prusa for sending me their printer. This iPhone cooler is comprised of three 3D printed parts and a few parts to assemble it. If you don't have access to a 3D printer, you can download it. There are some 3D printing service websites out there that you can use to print files, or I would recommend looking for local maker spaces or uh, a library and maybe you can get access to those 3D printers as well. Here is the parts list that you're gonna need. You're gonna need the three 3D printed files. You're gonna need your iPhone, a soldering iron, a 80 millimeter fan, this specific heat sink that has been tested and works and prevents your iPhone from overheating, and this USB cable, then all, all of it's gonna be linked down in the description below as Amazon affiliate links. Some of you might have this question of, wouldn't the fan be loud? The fan is actually not loud. I actually have my microphone mounted right here and the fan is right here. They're basically right next to each other. If you don't have an iPhone X like I do, I also am gonna be including a extra phone mount option that's gonna require two extra parts, which is the web grip and the sticky pad, which will also be linked down below as well. So right now this phone design is the smallest. I can actually get it myself, mainly because of how large the heat sink is. There are a bunch of other heat sinks that I would really, really like to try to be able to try to reduce the size of it. And at this point it would be a lot more money than I have to just buy out and test out a bunch of heat sinks to find out which one would work. So if you are interested in helping out this project for the next revision, I'm also gonna be linking my throne or you're gonna be seeing it on the screen right here. And what you could do is I'm gonna have a bunch of heat sinks that are gonna be listed there. How Throne works is you can anonymously get something uh, from that list and have it sent to my house. And that way I can receive these heat sinks and test them out and find out which ones can work to make a much smaller and newer revision. Once you've printed the 3D files, you're gonna use your soldering iron as kind of like a welder. And you're going to weld the case and the base together so that it'll look like this. And now you're gonna attach your 80 millimeter fan to the fan mount like this. And then you're going to put it all together and it should look something like this. Next, attach the heat sink to the iPhone in this location and now carefully drop it in the place. Everything should fit really nicely. If you are not using an iPhone X and you're using the, if you're using the universal phone design, you're going to have the extra step of putting the sticky grip between the universal phone mount and your iPhone. And then also you're gonna put the web grip on before you weld everything in place. Once everything is assembled, it should look something like this and it should prevent any of your iPhone X's to iPhone 12's from overheating. Once again, thank you to Prusha to, for sending me a 3D printer. Also, like I said, if any of you are interested in helping out the next revision, you can check out my throne, which is gonna be right here. And the links for everything are gonna be down in the description below. If any of you are wondering, like, is it heavy? If you're using an HMC, a head mounted camera, like what I have, it shouldn't feel that heavy. But like I said, if we're able to get it down by using a smaller heatsink, then that should solve a lot of the weight problems. Cause I believe like the, the thicker it is, the further it's away from that fulcrum point, then uh, it, 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 it feels a lot heavier. And then also using a smaller heatsink should help but the problem is like, what heat sinks are gonna work? Also shout outs to my patrons on Patreon. Without your support, I wouldn't be able to do weird random side projects that I decided to do out of nowhere exactly like this. Thank you. Also, I have a Discord server and I stream on Twitch. Bye.